Jack Selby, thanks for being the second victim subject. We'll see how it goes of our fans' question and answer. Um, we'll start with possibly not the best one, given that I think you've got a bit of a croaky voice. Uh, and it comes from someone called The Small Dog, who I think you probably know personally, unfortunately. Uh, and he says, I hear you like singing. What's your favourite song and can you sing a bit for us? Uh, Michael Bublé, Home, is uh, my favourite song. And no, Smalley, I am not singing for you. <laughs> it's probably the correct answer. Um, from Jimmy Riddle, uh, a controversial one. What do you think of Luke Oliver's beard? I like it. really like it. Um, suits him. I can't imagine him without one. Mm -hmm. uh, from Nobby, uh, if you could change one law of football, what would you change? Um, the length of it. I reckon it should be... I don't know, actually. I reckon if the game was 60 minutes long, yeah. it would just be crash, bang, wallop. More of a... More exciting. Yeah, like a... T20 version yeah. of football. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, and also from Nobby and related, is there anything about modern football you particularly dislike? Um, referees think they're better than they are. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to name names. Um, from Sarah Francis, do you have any superstitions before a game? Um, yes, I put my left sock on before my right and my left boot on before my right. I always put my left side on before my right. Uh, from Aldershot Raw, what players did you look up to when you were a kid? Uh, John Terry was the main one. Um, played with my position, obviously captain of England at one, one point. Chelsea, just all round great player, great guy, so I just looked up to him. Mm -hmm. And this may be related from Harry Mitchell, who's your favourite player of all time? Favourite player of all time, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Okay, good. Any particular, uh, fairly obvious reasons, but... Just when I was a kid, he was, he, do you know, as a kid, you, you, you still love football now, but as a kid, you, you love football, don't you? So I used to go to bed with my shin pads on, do you know what I mean? And at that time, he was the best, and he, he just scored goals in which you probably won't ever see again, so, no, him, definitely. Fair enough. Um, from Mark Grace, uh, who's the best striker you've ever had in your back pocket? I know Mark Grace. <laughs> um, Harewood. It was the toughest game I've played against. Marlon Harewood. Marlon Harewood, yeah. I think it was at Wolves, I'm not sure. It was a reserve game. Um, it was a very tough game, but yeah. He, uh, I put my, my jeans and my, my shorts in the wash actually after the game and then it, it sort of rolled out <laughs> as, as the door opened. <laughs> good, that's good. Uh, from Charlie Fisher, what's your best ever moment as a footballer and why? Staying up with Barnet against, uh, against Burn Albion. We had to win. I think Torquay were playing against Hereford and Torquay were going for promotion, Hereford, it was way at Torquay, there was no way going to win again, they were 3-0 up Hereford, so we had to win. <coughs> um, we went 1-0 down, 1-0, and then we won 2-1, and that feeling of staying up in the league, for me, was, uh, was better than getting promoted last year, for definite. Barnett seemed to make a bit of a habit of it in a couple of years, didn't they? Yeah, it was, it was they were the bottom two, it just stayed up, and then we'd when we got relegated, then we got promoted, it was all a bit, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I hope we feel like... for you, though. Well, yeah, it's quite. Uh, um, <laughs> I hesitate to ask this one from Jimmy Riddle. Who looks better in pink, Jake or Richard Brody? Brody. Because <laughs> he's got the pink cheeks. <laughs> Any evidence of this, or...? Goes. No, I can just imagine him wearing pink, to be fair. He'll, he'll back himself to wear pink, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you'll ask why are you wearing that and he'll say, well, I've played 400 games in the Van Rama. <laughs> 28, 28. Alright, bros. <laughs> yeah, we, we won't push that one. Um, another one from the small dog. Um, who is your favourite philosopher and why? No idea. <laughs> um, from Cliff de Gordon, when was the last time you headed the winning goal in a game? The winning goal? Against Altrincham this season, I think. Mm -hmm. Last win goal, I suppose, isn't it? Kept a clean sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, and from Karen Brilly, what's the best goal you've ever scored? Probably a header against Gillingham a couple of years ago. Uh, 
Yeah, that was a good goal. To be fair. Yeah. We lost though, but it was a good goal. Okay, talk us through it. Just a corner. I've sort of gone in, stepped off my man, and then got back in front of him. It's just a powerful header. Sort of the, the cross was whipped quite hard. So I've headed it in, and I think I might have watched that goal about two to three hundred times. I think. <laughs> Good, good, good. Visualising success, I suppose, yeah? That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, from a nonny mouse, uh, what's your favourite joke? Favourite joke? God, these are hard. under pressure, you can't re remember them, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And, and this, is, this is a family audience, so. Right. I don't know. The basic ones. I really don't know. My <laughs> granddad always says. <laughs> He always says it's the worst joke ever, but it makes me laugh. Every time I see him, he says, son, would you like an ice cream sundae? And he says, no, I'd rather have it now. <laughs> Every time he says it, I laugh my head off. <laughs> okay, you've, you've got to be there, I suppose. Yeah. Um, another one from Jimmy Riddle. Have you ever dared call Martin Allen Mad Dog? <clears throat> no. no. Has anyone? I don't think so, no. Um, Although he'd probably be alright with it, because he has got a personality, so I haven't, but if I, yeah, I, I would, do you know what I mean? He'd be alright yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. uh, from Harry Mitchell, Messi or the other Ronaldo, Cristiano? Uh, a year ago I said Ronaldo, but I think Messi is just, I think it's Messi. It is Messi. I would like it to be Ronaldo, because I quite like him, and I've watched his film. Mm -hmm. He's actually a, a really nice bloke, uh, but I think it's messy, yeah. Okay. Uh, and from Red and Blue, who would you rather be managed by, Mourinho or Wenger? Mourinho. I've met Mourinho. Okay. Nice guy. Uh, makes the kids feel welcome, but I'm sure so does Wenger. Um, I think Mourinho, yeah. yeah. He seems to be the best, although he's struggling at the moment. Mm. Yeah. But you, th you think he'll turn it around, even from... I, I think so. You, you look at the players that he's got, I just... Th there's no way... <clears throat> I, this is the thing is, how can it be his fault, sort of? There's only so much a manager can do, where he's managed and won the league. How are these players... I just think the players aren't performing for him at the moment, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But they, of course they'll turn it around. I think they'll get top four. That's better the century, that is, top four. <laughs> yeah. Get on it. You heard it here first. <laughs>